Today is 14th of August. Dear friends, my name is Ashna and thank you for joining us today. It is good that we are here on this day to praise God from whom all blessing flow and to remember God's faithfulness and love for each one of us. We in the Oblate family and community are so grateful that have you have joined us so that we can share God's word together and comfort and support one another by praying together and living as a community of faith and hope. And although life has largely returned to normal for many of us, let us not forget that for some people this is still not possible. So let us continue to pray and support one another. Therefore, thank, we thank you for joining us online for this time of daily morning prayer together. As we celebrate the gift of our faith, let us remember in a special way those who are currently ill or isolated. Let us also take a moment to pray for the gift of peace which is needed in so many hearts and parts of our world. Let us begin our time of prayer together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Today may I give and receive love. Today may I work for justice. Today may I listen and pray. Today may I sing God's praises. Today may I delight in God's beauty. Today and every day we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Reading is taken from Matthew chapter 18 verses 15 to 20. If your brother or sister sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If you are listened to, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, take one or two others along with you, so that every word may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If that person refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church, and if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I tell you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if to of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Reflection In many ways, we are keepers of our sisters and brothers. We have social responsibility in family and in neighborhood. Jesus is saying that something like that today, we have a responsibility for each other, for the common good. Parents may find this most difficult to try to guide the family well and not lose them, which teach by example and by love. Even when children are young and making some mistakes, we hope there are not mistakes that last forever, like crime, alcoholism, or an unplanned life-changing moment. We pray to God for help. This we do with others. We ask for guidance and find help in the community of the church and of others. That's where God is. Two or three gathered is the community of God. Church is the gathered people. God wants the best for each of us. We can help each other to goodness we can support each other, correct each other, and help each other on our way to God. As we bring our time of prayer to close, to a close, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who are against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Lord, may nothing separate me from you today. Teach me how to choose only your way today so each step 
will lead me closer to you. Help me walk by the word and not my feelings. Help me to keep my heart pure and undivided. Protect me from my own careless thoughts, words and actions. And keep me from being distracted by my wants, my desires, my thoughts on how things should be. Help me to embrace what comes my way as an opportunity rather than a personal inconvenience. And finally, help me to rest in the truth you alone. Amen. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Thank you for joining us in prayer.